I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, I'll be doing a review of the Cab Sab 2 by Nick Blair Joystick Surfboards. Um, the Cab Sab 2 here that I've been riding has come in at 5.7 by 20 and a quarter by 2 and 3 eighths, which comes over at just over 30 litres at 30.1 litres. Um, the Cab Sab 2 is a small wave kind of fun board for pretty average kind of conditions. Um, it holds a lot of width and volume throughout the board and the rocker through the board is quite flat which helps it keep pace in some pretty flat and average conditions. And um, it comes in a five fin setup which I've been riding as a quad. Um, another characteristic about this Cab Sab 2 that I've been riding, it is in the carbo load technology which Nick has been doing. So the carbo load technology is a stringless EPS technology. Um, so it's epoxy, so the board has a little bit more sound. I mean, a, a different kind of sound. Um, and is it got a bit more flotation and it's a, it sort of has a different spring and a bit of a different flex to it, which makes surfing pretty average waves um, pretty well. So you can see through the carbon comes through and it spreads out through the fins and then there's no carbon through the tail here, so it's a bit flexier um, compared to a board that might have a stringer throughout the board. Um, I've been riding the Cab Sab 2 for the last, I've had this board for a little while, uh, Nick gave it to me a few months ago, sorry I've had it for so long Nick, um, and I tell you what, it's been something I've grabbed when waves have been really kind of average. Um, where I live there's been this nice little one like a mid kind of rising tide, we've had this little right rip bowl which um, hasn't offered a lot but it's kind of had, you know, it'll run through and reform and you'll get a quick section in that. And the Cab Sav 2 has been really good through that, especially through those flat spots where it's waiting for the wave to kind of stand up again before you make a little turn. Um, the flatness through the board has really held that pace to get you to that next section, and it springs in and out of turns really, really nicely. The single to double through the board will keep water through, moving through the board quite nicely under the board, keeping pace. And then that V that comes off the towel that you might be able to see just there, will give it a really nice rail to rail transition and feel, um, especially with the four fins which can kind of give it a real grippy feel with a lot of fin, that V feels really nice, just making it quite easy to turn and keeping it quite loose and lively. Like I said, I've been riding in some pretty average conditions and when waves have been pretty small, quite marginal, I've been grabbing the Cab Sav 2 which has been quite fun. But I've also taken out in some waves that have been a little bit punchy when there's a little bit more size. I recently went away with a family and it was actually the only board I took. Um, so we're going up north, I had a little point break, which generally doesn't get much over kind of knee high, and it's generally a bit of a malrider wave. But at the back beach around, I was able to get some really punchy waves. And um, the Cab Sav 2, which I thought might be a bit wide through the front and whatnot, was actually pretty good in like kind of three to four foot quite punchy and hollow waves. Um, while it has a bit of width through the front and it holds a lot of volume through the nose, it comes in quite tight. So when you're getting some waves that were standing up and whatnot, where a lot of those really short and kind of really stumpy boards that are too wide through here will kind of catch. And also they're too flat normally, they don't like that curve of the wave. The cap tab too surprisingly felt quite nice. Um, and then also when you get up and you get a real bit of pace down the line, the cap tab too, it actually felt like a little bit of a bigger board. It didn't feel so small and too skatey, which a lot of those really kind of small fun wave boards tend to do when waves get a little bit bigger. Um, in the bottom of the Cab Sab 2, I've been riding it purely as a quad. Um, I don't have too many FCS setups and I've done this in a few different boards where I have the AMs, the large AMs in the front and the rears are the Matt Biolas quad rears and um, this is actually the only FCS quad setup I have and boards like this I've thrown it in and it's felt pretty good so I've stuck with that. I haven't ridden as a thruster, um, I stuck with this, chatting with Nick, he said it went a bit better as a quad so I went on the quad and it's felt quite nice. Um, overall, I think the Cab Sav 2 is for almost anyone. Someone who wants a fun board, that beginner intermediate surfer, that wants a board that's just going to be easy to paddle, easy to float, and may advance their surfing a little bit. I think the Cab Sav 2 is a board for that. And someone who's like an intermediate to advanced surfer and wants that little kind of nuggety little surfboard for that summer slop that you might get around where you live, the Cab Sav 2 is the board for you too, I think. Especially in this carbo load EPS technology, the springiness of the board and the liveliness it felt really, really good. Um, something else that was quite funny when I was chatting to Nick about the board, we're having a bit of a chat when I grabbed it off and he was talking about it. I like to, to do a lot of pumping and I don't know if you've seen me surf, I move a lot and I'm pumping a lot. And Nick was saying a lot about with the Cab Sav 2 that I just to kind of let the board cruise, just, just let the board surf and not so much movement. And the first few waves I got, I was kind of found myself pumping, pumping and I was kind of trying to feel the thing out and it felt a bit strange. And it wasn't until I thought about what he said and I just kind of gave some gentle pumps and just let the thing cruise, it actually started to move a lot better. 
and didn't really need me to do all that work to get it moving, which you may when you ride a short board or something in pretty average waves. I really ended up enjoying the effortlessness of riding the cab surf to in those waves, just being able to kind of cruise and let the board do all the surfing. It wasn't me wiggling and shaking and getting it going. That's our review today of the Cab Sav 2 by Nick Blair, Joystick Surfboards. Hopefully you get a chance to check one out. It's a really fun board for anyone, someone who's trying to push their surfing, or even an advanced surfer who wants something to you know, light up that summer slop and those average waves you get around summer. Um, if you get a chance, check us out on Instagram at the Surfboard Guy. We'll be posting pictures of this board and our boards we're reviewing, and it'll give you a chance to engage with us about the board, any questions you may have, and you may also get a chance to check, chat with other users who have an experience of the board or may have similar questions to you. Thanks for watching.